Welcome to Anime Reviews. I'm Skybear, and I'm here with my buddy Sal. What's up, Sal? Not much. And keep in mind, before we get into this, there will be spoilers up ahead, so watch out for that. You've been warned. So, today we will be reviewing Tora, Tora, Tora. Three Toras. Exactly. <laughs> so, this movie was suggested by Sharon. Thanks, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Shout out to you. Hope I'll see you soon in Santa Barbara. So, for those of you who don't know, Tora, Tora, Tora is about uh, the attack on Pearl Harbor and yeah that's, that's actually that's that's the whole movie <laughs> yeah and it takes both sides the american side and the japanese so they go back and forth uh, basically it's based on two books basically the japanese side and the american side they combine it to a movie that portrays both sides what led up to pearl harbor when i saw the poster it says that it's the most accurate movie when I, we're I, going know, into... I think michael bay did a pretty good job <laughs> actually actually okay with that um there's some scenes, and we were talking about it, some scenes in it that we can reference to Michael Bay's... Uh... Yeah, no, like, when we watched Tor Tor Tora, we definitely caught, like, some shots and even, like, little motifs that, you know, carried over to Pearl Harbor, which, you know, I mean, Pearl Harbor is basically just a remake of, of Tor Tor Tora, just exactly. not Not the awesome. minus the love story. <laughs> right. But, yeah, we saw um, how many characters that we remembered from... Oh, yeah, like, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character, uh, he's... He has like a little bit role in Tor Tor Tora. Like he doesn't have any lines of dialogue. Like, no. but you see him show up and shoot yes. shoot uh, shoot the fifty caliber. So then you also cool. um, we also have uh, the the two soldiers mm-hmm. from Pearl Harbor. Um, we don't have the nurse because that's the love story. Yeah, <laughs> the the hospital was not in the budget for Tor Tor Tora. <laughs> but I mean, overall, I I enjoyed the movie. The only thing I would say is if you expect it just to show the attack, the attack is. Probably the last, what, what would you say, 20, 30, yeah, 30, 30 minutes? minutes. Yeah, yeah, but the last 30 of the minutes is the attack on Pearl Harbor. Everything else is just the buildup and the events that led up to the event. And the mistakes. <laughs> and the mistakes. The mistakes. Because it was just not on one person. It was multiple people dismissing vital information. Cause, but at the same time, you said it like, in, if I was in his position, I would want confirmation. You know, there's a oh, scene. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a scene where uh, one character uh, is saying, like, oh, there's, there, like, you know, the Japanese are going to attack. And, you know, his his commanding officer is like, I want confirmation. Yes. Which, you know, eventually we realized that was a huge mistake. You should have just, you know, you should have just uh, gone for it. But on the other side, I completely understand wanting to have confirmation. Yes. About, you don't want to, about that. Yeah, you don't want to pull the trigger too soon or... Or without cause or cause an alarm. Exactly. Also, the same part where uh, there's a submarine following the, the ship, mm. and they call it in. It's like, oh, there's a submarine. Like, well, we had false alarms before. Let's just make sure it's a submarine. And we were watching. We're like, that is a submarine. Yep. Asshole. I saw it. But I'm then you're thinking like, oh, this guy is, wasn't there. He's in an office far away in Washington or something. So, yeah, chain of commands are different and stuff. So. Yeah. So. Uh, I would say, um, I think my, well, one of my few complaints about this movie would just be that it's a little slow. Uh, it starts off a, a, like a tad bit too slow. And yes. uh, really like the first half of the movie is just all set up. Yes. And then the second half of the movie is where uh, is where the, the ball gets rolling. And we, we start to see like the tension slowly build up even more and, and until, you know, the finale. Well, the movie's uh, 140 minutes, and just because it's slow, it makes it feel like it's a three-hour movie. Yeah. And plus, you I have mean, the intermission. <laughs> and plus, we, we, we have the intermission, which doesn't help. Yeah. It makes it go like, oh, really? This is the halfway point? I, I, didn't, have... I didn't... We did, This was both of our first times watching this, so I didn't know about this intermission. So I was like... When, when it hit up, we were just like, oh, oh, there's an intermission now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so we got up and stretched. I want to say it's a good accurate description of what happened even though we did catch that uh, action scene the explosion and we were wondering was that explosion really oh yeah there's explosion? there's a scene where uh, a plane uh, Crash uh into- crashes down uh, onto the landing strip and then it like veers off and almost hits some people and when we were watching it we both kind of like looked at each other and we we're like that seemed a little too real because like you can see the dudes just like running away from from this plane and like it actually almost hits a dude. Yeah, and the guy is like actually literally skidding, like falling on the ground trying to yeah. get really fast and yeah. run and then, away. And then after we were done, I read in the trivia, yeah, it turns out that plane was not supposed to do that. And those those men 
actually were running for their lives. Literally, they could have died. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, but hey, um, it was a cool shot, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They caught as long as you catch the scene and you recorded it, it made it on film. Which actually, if you think about it, it actually brings it uh, into a more realistic point. Because a lot of people, when they see remakes of a documentary or something like that, they're like, oh, it's a reenactment. But mm-hmm. this one's like, no, literally, that actually happened. Mm-hmm. Like, that guy could have died right there. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed the movie. Uh, I remember in high school, I told you, mm-hmm. my teacher recommended it to us. After we did go see the Pearl Harbor movie, she was really pissed. She's like, you should have just gone seen Torah, Torah, Torah. And I was like, yeah, I'll do that. And fast forward to now. This is my first time watching it, even though I, I I owned it for a long time. We actually just watched it today. So I'm glad I watched it. But at the same time, like you said, it was slow to build up. So it did have like a slow build up. And like, I totally understand that, you know, just to just to like ramp up, ramp up the tension in order to have this epic, you know, climax. Uh, but even still, it, it was still a little too slow for me in the beginning. But what I do appreciate also is that the Japanese weren't vilified. And, and like, same with, same with the Americans too. Well, I mean, obviously, but, <laughs> but it just, well, it, it kind of reminded me of uh, Saving Private Ryan, or I guess Saving Private Ryan reminds me of Tor 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 now, <laughs> where, you know, like, where, with the Nazis, you know, like, they're not vilified. They're, like, in Saving Private Ryan, they're just soldiers yes. who are doing their job. And same with Tor Tor Tor. Everyone was just soldiers doing their own job. <laughs> and it, that brings me to the point where at the end, or the guy, because he, in Japan, there's a, the whole honor thing, mm-hmm. like a victory. If you win a victory by backstabbing or, or whatever, give it without actually doing it the honorable way. Mm-hmm. There's no honor in winning. Even you can't call it a win, even if you win. So he said, because um, technically the whole thing is that Americans say, oh, Pearl Harbor attacked us without declaring war. Mm-hmm. Technically, what the Tora Tora movie shows uh, is that they were supposed to release an ultimatum. Yeah. An ultimatum at 30 minutes before the attack. Right. Well, you know, they didn't send it in time. So the attack happened first and then the letter arrived. Right. And then Mr. Mm-hmm. Yamada, um, he gives a speech saying, yes, we were supposed to tell them we were going to, give an ultimatum, and then attack. Mm-hmm. But I just got word that we attacked 55 minutes before they received the letter. So yes, we won, but he kind of gives the the, the the whole speech mm-hmm. and saying like, it's a win without honor. Mm-hmm. And what is that? And he walks up to the deck of the ship and that's where the movie ends. Yeah, Which I thought that was really well done and it was actually a speech that I have heard before after the attack. They were saying this was not the way it was supposed to happen. It was supposed to happen with honor and because the letter the letter arrived late, they saw it as they, they lost respect. They lost their honor. Mm. So it all brings it back together. I mean, so there's always, in war, there's always two two sides of the story kind of mm-hmm. thing. So this movie has both. So you kind of go left and right again, you know, from one point to another. And I thought this was really well done because in school, they only teach you about the attack. They don't teach you about what led up to the attack. Mm-hmm. You know, so I enjoyed this movie. More than I enjoyed Pearl Harbor. <laughs> yeah, no, no. If I had to choose, it's like, no, nah, I'm gonna watch Tora Tora Tora. And also, man, like, what for? Like for when it was made, that, yes. there was some pretty good action scenes yes. in that yes. in that movie. I mean, the, the whole thing reminded me of every time that I see a documentary on the you know History Channel and stuff like that. Mm. It's that kind of quality of a movie that they they show the attacks, they show uh, all the the you know the boats and everything and then how they were attacking and they even go through the plan of attacks like we're going to attack this we're going to do this and it goes left and right seeing the u.s point of view seeing the japanese point of view and like you said the japanese are not portrayed as the villains they're portrayed as people who need to do something they can't just stand around and so what would you give this movie i'd say it's a good 7.5 i would agree yeah. i would give it, 7. it seems 5. like a, like that seems like a good fit and, and the thing is because of the length i mean if you divide it into two days watch the first part up to the intermission and then the next day lead up to the, you know, the attack i think that's a good pace yeah don't 
don't try to sit and watch it at once. <laughs> Uh, unless you love to watch history documentaries and stuff like that, then you can sit through this. I mean, yeah, just stretch up in the intermission, go get some water, get popcorn or something, refill yeah. your drink. Or, I mean, unless you really have two and a half hours to kill to watch, you know, Pearl Harbor, then go right ahead. <laughs> so that wraps up our review for Tora Tora Tora. Catch us next time when we review Hang 'em High, good old Clint Eastwood. Yes. And social media is in the description and hit us up if you have any questions. And remember, keep watching movies. Remember, keep watching.